Get your engines revving, race fans, because Nintendo just announced that two more F-Zero games will be headed to the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack on October 11th. That's right, not only are we going to be getting F-Zero GP Legend, but Nintendo also plans on releasing F-Zero Climax outside of Japan for the first time ever. Yeah, that's exciting news. But uh, are either of these games actually worth playing? To answer that question, I decided to flip through the pages of Nintendo Power, Game Pro, Edge, and more classic magazines to see what the critics said back when these games first came out. Oh, I sure hope you have a need for speed, because that's what you're about to get in this week's exciting episode of Nintendo Switch Online Review Crew. Even though F-Zero Climax is technically a sequel to GP Legend, we're going to start with it because, unfortunately, there just aren't any reviews to talk about. That's because this final entry for the Game Boy Advance never found its way outside of Japan, despite most of the text and overbearing announcer already being in English. Released only a year after GP Legend, Climax offered fans a surprisingly packed game with sharper graphics, better course designs, and a ton of modes to play through. It even has its own course creator, which really elevates Climax over other F-Zero titles on the Game Boy Advance. But even with all this going for it, Climax ended up underperforming at retail. Coming out not even a full year after GP Legend, there was clearly some F-Zero fatigue. It didn't help that GP Legend finally came out in America only two months before the release of the Nintendo DS. So really, by the time Nintendo would have even considered porting Climax, their entire focus was on the brand new hardware and not the aging Game Boy Advance. And that's a shame, because Climax really is the best of the three Game Boy Advance iterations, and the fact that it took Nintendo 20 years to bring it to the United States and Europe is absolutely baffling. There may not be any reviews, but F-Zero Climax is a game that you should definitely play on the Nintendo Switch. If you liked the previous F-Zero title on the Game Boy Advance, Maximum Velocity, but wished that it had more story and deeper lore, then GP Legend may just be the game for you. Released extremely late in the Game Boy Advance's life, this sequel is based on an anime that helps to flesh out the F-Zero world and characters. This actually plays into the mission structure, as you end up taking control of a bunch of different racers and completing their unique stories. There's actually an impressive amount of content here, including all kinds of ships to unlock by completing the different missions. With updated graphics, a killer soundtrack, and a cartridge packed with content, I always considered this to be a strong entry in the F-Zero timeline. But what did the critics say? As you're about to find out, the magazines were extremely mixed when it came to GP Legend. With no EGM review to anchor us, let's just go ahead and start at the bottom and work our way up. The lowest score I could find was in the 133rd issue of Edge, which gave it a disappointing 5 out of 10. Comparisons with Gran Turismo 4 Prologue are not completely erroneous, as F-Zero feels like a starter before the main course. There is a single-player campaign here, but it's over far too quickly. Indeed, you won't even break a sweat before you get to the Silver Cup in the Expert class, and F-Zero Stalwarts will feel patronized by the ease at which the short-lived tournament mode can be completed. On a positive note, F-Zero makes use of the SP's clam design and controls superbly, and once the benefits of boosting and air braking are mastered, you'll feel completely at one with your machine. However, once the short main mode is finished, all you're left with is the prospect of racing yourself for ever quicker lap times. Now, Edge may have been the harshest, but they weren't the only critics disappointed by GP Legend. 
Game Informer shrugged when they gave it a 6.25 out of 10, and even Nintendo Power was a little iffy on it. Jessica said that I can really appreciate that F-Zero GP Legend isn't quite as brutally difficult as past F-Zero games. It still maintains the adrenaline pumping speed and excitement that F-Zero fans have come to expect. While Steve noted that the story mode's villains are so vile that you'll really want to run them down in races. Now, it's probably worth mentioning that there actually were magazines that liked this game. Let's go ahead and look at GMR issue 23 to help to even things out a little bit. Christian Nutt explains, For such a tiny, underpowered system, the Game Boy Advance can provide such surprisingly intense gameplay. F-Zero GP Legend offers racing thrills that compete with those of full-sized games. The biggest addition to the game over its Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance predecessors is the story mode. Starting the characters from the cartoon, it'll appeal most of the show's fans. And what it lacks in depth, it makes up for in clever pacing. While it may not push the series too far beyond the established bounds, GP Legend easily exceeds GBA launch title F-Zero Maximum Velocity and provides compelling racing for fans of both the series or the show. Or those who simply love cruising around corners at 300 kilometers an hour. In case you're wondering, GamePro gave GP Legend the highest marks, but couldn't quite get themselves to give it a perfect score. Giving it a 4.5 out of 5, they said that the game is not only a great progression from 2001's maximum velocity, but it's also an improvement. The physics are better tuned, and the action moves much faster and smoother. In fact, GP Legend is probably the fastest racer on the Game Boy Advance. Although graphical details have been sacrificed on behalf of the blazing speed with no faltering, everything moves so quick that you won't even notice. Damn fast, damn challenging, and thoroughly addictive. F-Zero GP Legend dominates the handheld circuit. So, uh, there you have it. It's a game that's either too easy or damn challenging, depending on who you believe. Yeah, there are some contradictions in these reviews. Don't let that keep you from checking out this fantastic racer. Between this and Climax, F-Zero fans don't have a whole lot to complain about. Well, except for wanting a new game. I mean, a proper new game. Come on guys, make it happen, Nintendo. ゲーム風雲伝の眠りから目覚めたニュース雑誌秘密のベールに包まれたキャプテンファルコン行く手を阻む悪の組織をぶっちぎり正義をかけた君の走りでファルコンの謎に迫れ任天堂ゲームボー